to bed, ladies and gentlemen. One fall with a 10-minute time limit. Introducing, making his way into the ring, weighing in at 245 pounds, from Bad Street, USA, Michael T. S. Hayes. Michael Hayes, as we await the arrival of Terry Taylor, and Chavo, I'll tell you, things say what they want about Michael. He's got a big mouth, no doubt about it, but he backs it up. I'll tell you what, they are almost to controlling the, the situation. In the whole making his way to the ring, weighing you know. in at 231 pounds from Zero Beach, Florida, Terry Taylor. You know, getting back to this, Bam Bam Gordy, he's the Universal Wrestling Federation champion, and Buddy Roberts just defeated Terry Taylor for the... Uh, TV title, which is number one contender, so they ain't just about it locked, have it locked up, and it's almost impossible for anybody to get in there. And Michael Hayes negotiates their contracts. Chavo, that really throws a, a, a fly in the ointment, so to speak, as Michael is moonwalking. And I don't think there's been a lot of moonwalking done here in the Cowtown Coliseum. There's some two-stepping done next door at Billy Bob's quite often, but the moonwalking I don't know about is Terry Taylor. Chavo, I'll tell you, Terry Taylor reminds me a lot of you because he is a great strategist his fundamentals are immaculate but he will fight you if that's what it takes you know terry taylor's a gentleman in and out of the ring but when he gets in the ring we travel a lot jim and we talk to each other and we we discuss strategy and and he does he has improved about 100 100 since i first met him and i tell you he is one heck not, not only a wrestler but one heck of an athlete no doubt about it and he has got, had some scores to settle with michael hayes he has been one of the people that has that has taken a whipping and i don't mean a physical whipping i mean with a leather strap a leather belt taylor has felt that job so there's a little score to settle in this situation there's a lot to settle like we said before buddy roberts drip terry taylor from that tv title and you said it you hit it right on the nose michael mays case is the mastermind and he's got to get through michael mays to get back to that title Hayes going for a big roundhouse right that Taylor ducked. Great arm drag takedown by Terry Taylor. And at this point in time, much to Michael Hayes' displeasure, Terry Taylor Chavo is controlling the tempo. That's so important for wrestlers, isn't it? That is the main thing. You, you, every match is different. I don't care if you wrestle the same guy the next, the next night or a month from now. There, look at that. Look at this strategy right here. Michael Hayes is going to go for a kick and back to the arm. This is, you wear your opponent down, just like in football. You, you hit him with a pass, and then you set up the run. This is what you do in professional wrestling. You work a leg, you work an arm, and you wear him down, you wear him down, and then the element of surprise, and that's where you win your match. I'll tell you what, y'all, Michael Hayes knows every trick there is, and he's written a lot to that book of tricks, if there was such a thing, and Hayes complaining, as you could hear, that his hair was pulled. I didn't happen to see that, but uh, be that as it may, Taylor is controlling the matchup. Well, one thing that uh, the audience will notice with the uh, Universal Wrestling Federation is that, in my opinion, we have the best athletes in the world. And when you get the best against the best, you bring out of each other. And this is why this matchup, Terry Taylor against Michael Hayes, is such a huge, they both know so much, that the more you wrestle with somebody, the more you know about him, the more that you have to start, uh, you know, you, using another hold or, or getting through them. In changing a different, your game changing plan. Changing your game plan. Very exactly. good. Exactly. Right. Changing your game plans. Taylor with the arm twist. Chavo Guerrero will be, will be wrestling on next week's program, I understand, Chavo. We'll talk about that a little bit later in the hour. Still to come in this hour, the battle for the UWF Tag Team Championship. Oh, Look Taylor that. with a clutch break. Back, back to the arm. And if you people notice on your television cameras, the arm drag is almost perfectly executed by Terry Taylor. He comes in, he grabs that elbow, sticks that arm with down under the arm, and boom, throws his body up, throws his left leg up, and he's down. You know, unlike so many wrestling programs that the fans have the opportunity to, to view, and we all know, ladies and gentlemen, how many wrestling programs are out there, and we certainly appreciate you selecting this hour out of your day or your evening to watch this program but we're we've got a match between two very very evenly matched athletes hayes and taylor this is a great contest it is not a mismatch okay i'm sorry to interrupt you there but getting back 
you saw earlier where Michael Hayes went to kick Taylor and he stopped it. Well, Michael Hayes set him up in this certain occasion. He went for the same new move. He knew Terry was going to stop and, and grab that leg, and he punched him right there. Of course, an illegal hold, but he got away with it. Now he's got control of the match. Terry Taylor was the man that had the... Oh, what a right hand by Hayes, and Taylor is, is really staggered here. Taylor viciously thrown into that top turnbuckle. It was Buddy Roberts that stole the television title from Terry Taylor. And I've said that on many occasions. We have seen it documented on film. But Taylor has not cried about the match. He wants a rematch. Well, and Hayes wants to do what he can to keep Taylor from getting that matchup. You're right. He wants to discourage him, you know, and that's what Terry and I were talking about. Terry's not wants to complain, and as he said, Cowboy, you know, that's over with. It doesn't matter how he beat me. He's got the title, and I'm going to get it back, and I believe that he'll get it back because he just has got a lot of determination. Remember, ladies and gentlemen, our next t national television taping, and there's Buddy Roberts. There he is. Now, what Buddy Roberts has, in my estimation, no real reason for being at ringside other than psychologically with that title over his shoulder terry taylor is probably going to think about that shovel quite obvious that's exactly what he's doing he sees the advantage to michael hayes now and terry taylor is so good that he can come back at any time and take over the match and buddy roberts is there with the belt like telling, hey man look at here uh, concentrate on me and that they work as a team that's why they're so good in and out of the ring sometimes i'll see buddy way out up in the, by the dressing room yelling at his opponent you know and it's, it's it's funny but it does distract you you don't keep your mind in your match and michael hayes's mind was in the turnbuckle momentarily and taylor now with the right hand taylor fist and fire and the man from vero beach florida another of the top athletes in the universal wrestling federation against the highly controversial michael p.s hayes high elevation by taylor I'll tell you, sometimes it works in reverse. Buddy came out to psych him, and I think it's psyched Terry to where he, uh, look at him, look at that move. Good strategy. Oh, beautiful. Oh. oh well, Buddy needs to sit down and take a seat there if he's got a ticket. <laughs> well, he probably snuck in the back door knowing Buddy Roberts. And Taylor got him off the apron. That's one way to get him in his seat. Great move by Terry. Now he should take advantage. There's a small package right there. Only a one count. Only a one count there. And I'll tell you what, Buddy Roberts had the referee distracted there somewhat. A little slow count there. And Taylor, or Taylor receiving that kick to the solar plexus. And look at Buddy. I'll tell you, there's a distraction right there. Buddy's in the ring. And, there, oh, and they oh, got no. the belt. That's an automatic disqualification. You can hear them whipping him on that belt. You can hear the lashes. You can hear the leather popping. And the referee is calling for the disqualification. Oh, and down oh. goes the referee. He's called the disqualification, obviously. But there's Ted DiBiase. He's been on the receiving end of that trap, Chavo. That's right. You know, there's no other better man to be there right there than Ted DiBiase right now because he's got a few with Michael Hayes from way, way back. Hayes has left the ring and left Buddy yeah. by himself. And listen to those cracks of that belt. It's a disqualification victory for Terry Taylor. The Freebirds trying to double-team Taylor. Thank goodness for Ted DiBiase. He read Russell just a few moments ago. Ted DiBiase came to the ring. And ladies and gentlemen, Chavo Guerrero and I will be right back. And when we do, the UWF Tag Team title will be on the line.